box. And so then I said to Jimmy, maybe I did spunk the test, but at least I'm not in a wheelchair like you. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, sorry, Granddad. Don't worry about him, Mommy. He'll forget it in like five minutes. No, I'm not sad because of what you just said to your poor old grandfather. It's just that what it is is that, um, come on, let's play! It's obviously a rat. Come on, let's pay attention, people. It's vegetarian. It's a rat that lives exclusively on fruit. Ah, like when Dad was seeing that stripper and wanted to lose weight. Do what? What did you say? Hey, come on. The rules say no speaking. I'm sorry. That was an accident. It's a rat that's been cooked. We have been living on putrid roasted rat flesh for months. Blah. Wow, and there's me thinking it was turkey. But why? We got a call from a bear naked lady. No, the other way around. Someone in this house keeps calling a bear naked lady. I think we need another clue, you know. Another clue? One more. We're all out of cash because someone in the house spends all day and all night calling a telephone sex line. But who the hell would spend so much money on something like that? What? What did you say you were wearing, young lady? You'll have to speak up. Would you mind repeating everything you just said? Oh. It's a rat! I've got it, I've got it! We're ruined because Grandpa spends all day calling phone sex lines, and in the end, the bank is foreclosed on the house to build a golf course on the property. Am I right? <laughs> yes! Hey! Hey!